sausage on top of a bed of cauliflower rice. We have some sauteed cabbage here, some keto cornbread, and we are drinking raspberry lemonade flavored water. Yummy, freaking delicious. If you're from Louisiana, what do y'all call this dish? That red like gravy with sausage in it? What do y'all call that? Let me know in the comments. Yummers. What's up, Yummy Vice? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Vice TV. Y'all already see it. We're drinking uh, raspberry lemonade flavored water. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Mm hmm. Mm. Delicious. Let's pray. Amen. All right. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? All right, if you're from Louisiana, please let me know what the name of this dish is. It's like a red gravy with sausage. This is um, Robido sausage. You can only get it in Louisiana, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's bomb, y'all. Oh, my God. It got so much flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-mm. The sauteed cabbage is bomb too. Mmm. Mmm. Keto cornbread. Mmm. Yeah, this is delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Too good. And yes, all my food is good. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> mm. This is a meal, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, Marshall gave me the idea because he had made this last night. I was like, oh, I'm going to make that for my mukbang. But I had to make it a little different because he used roux. And I can use any roux. And I just didn't use any. And it tastes the exact same. Mmm. 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 If y'all can just know what these rubber dough sausages taste like, y'all would. Y'all be like, yeah, I know that's good. Because, girl. They need to start selling these online because that just makes sense like they got people out here promoting it like oh 
And folks need to come somewhere to get it, yeah. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know how it was going to come out. Because I do believe this is my first time making this. I think. If I did make it before, I didn't remember how to make it because I had to, um, uh, Marshall had to walk me through it. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I ain't got no napkins over here. Somebody gotta take my napkins. <clears throat> Again. <laughs> I hate when people come back, like, behind here on my set. Like, I can't stand it. Mmm. This is a really healthy meal, actually. All right, cabbage. Sausage and gravy with no type of flour, none of that. Um, cauliflower rice, and this really, really low carb cornbread, girl. Perfect, delicious meal. y'all I saw this video today of this lady I don't know what her son must have done because I don't have any backstory but he had came to her house because she wouldn't let him in and apparently he lives there he came with the police and the police was trying to tell her well, if he lives here you gotta let him in or whatever and he was she was like nope I know my rights. She would not let him in, y'all. She was talking to him like he was a stranger. I was like, dang, that's your son? Like, like I said, I don't know what could have happened or what he must have done or I don't know. But all I know is that she was done with him. Like, it wasn't no, like, what? I was just shocked. And the policemen, too, they were just like, what is going on here? They were just as confused, I feel, they were. Mm. She was just being very dismissive and just like, he was somebody off the street. And I do believe he was homeless. Like, she could not let him in her house. Oh, excuse me. And I just felt so sorry for him. Just, you know, I don't know any of the story, but they was letting her have it in the comments. Like, what kind of mother are you? And all this stuff. But she's obviously doing it for a reason. I eat y'all's cabbage so I can get my vegetables in. Y'all, earlier today was like a big, huge storm. Like, I don't know what be going on with Houston. It's like, it always happens like earlier during the day. You get real, real black outside or dark. And it, the wind start blowing real hard. And it start raining real hard. And then, 
a couple hours later, it, it looked like it ain't never rain. Here comes the sun. Like, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ridiculous. And guess what, y'all? Somebody uh, stole one of my packages. Um... Because it was in a box that I did not have a key for it, but the mail person gave somebody else that key and they took my stuff. Thank God it was only one package from what I, you know, know. But I was just like, oh my God. So anyway, the company is sending me another one. I worked it out with them. They're sending me another one. Um, so thank God for that, you know. Mm. Mm. But people gotta stop opening up those packages, y'all. Like, I see this, like, on TikTok. People have recorded them seeing these, like, FedEx drivers, UPS drivers, all of them, y'all, going through people's uh, boxes to see what they want, y'all. Somebody literally opened up my entire box and just left, left one flap closed, but opened up the entire thing, and they were just able to get whatever they want. I wish people would, like, um, could use a P.O. box because, like, that would be, like, the safer thing, I feel like, for me to do, you know, so it can just go to straight to my P.O. box. But you know what? They can still open it before they put it in the P.O. box if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. So annoying. Mm. A little Oh my god, I feel like I'm about to bust. Um, did y'all see that video of um, it was this uh white young lady, she was at her uh graduation. I'm not sure if it was college or high school, but it looked like it might have been um, college anyway. Um so, as she was coming upstairs and she is about to um, shake all of the, I guess the faculty, their um, hands or whatever, including the superintendent, which the superintendent was black, right? So, she goes, you know, I think she might have caught a couple of handshakes until her dad runs up on the freaking stage and like blocks her from shaking um, the superintendent's hand. He literally put his hands on this man and like pushed him out of the way and said, you know, I think he said that he didn't want his daughter shaking his hand or whatever. Um, then come to find out before we found out, you know, why um, everybody was thinking it was because he was black. And honestly, I don't know what his intentions were, but all I know is. If that was me, and he literally physically moved me out of the way, y'all sh should have seen how he did this, man. <laughs> it ain't no, I would have forgot about my job because you you put in your you're laying your hands on me. Like how dare you? Like it was it was so bold what he did. It, like you would have thought that he had a, a, a pew pew with him or something, you know, to just lay his hands on this man. Anyway, yeah, when I tell you, honey, that man was better than me, honey, because I would have snatched myself out of his hands, like, or he would have been going down or something. Like, it ain't no way he would have got, <laughs> he would have got away with that. That is crazy. If y'all, you know what? Let me see if I have. 
have the video. Cause girl. Learning more information about an incident at Baraboo High School's graduation. Oh, it's a high school. And the district superintendent on Friday, our Jalen Banks joins us now with video of that incident and response from the district. Jalen? Eric, in the video, you can see a parent approach the stage, grab the superintendent, Randy Briggs. And Look how he grabbed him. Before what is believed to be the parent's daughter being able to shake the hand of the superintendent. The video continues and you can hear Briggs say, get off me. You can see individuals take the stage, escorting him off, and multiple people uh, moving the parent off the stage as well. And comments on social media say the parent did this in protest of how the superintendent and the district handled bullying incidents related to his daughter. In a statement from the district, they say... Okay, so that's what we later on found out. So how do y'all feel about that? Like, I swear, if he would have put it... That man is better than a whole lot of people. Because he would have got his ass knocked out if he would have put his hands on anybody else. Like, he got the right person. Because he probably wanted to keep his job. Because they probably would have fired that man if he would have laid that man out. They probably would have fired him. But, I feel like that was kind of like an assault. You know what I'm saying? How he, like, pushed him with his hand. Like, that was an assault. And I hope he pressed charges. I hope he did. That's crazy. He done ruined his, um, and then she's in high school. She's going to always remember that, especially if she is, like, not like her dad. You know what I mean? She was up there. She looked so confused and sad and just embarrassed. Like, can you imagine how embarrassed she was for her dad to do that in front of everybody like that? If anything, she, he should have told her, I don't want you to uh, shake the superintendent's hand. Or maybe he had already talked to her about it and she didn't agree with it. And maybe she was going to be doing it anyway. That's why he got his behind up and did that. You know, just trying to defy, you know, what she, you know, actually wants. Like, that was just, I don't know. It was petty. Um, and if it is true that the superintendent didn't handle, you know, his child, you know, getting uh, bullied, he should have been handled that before graduation. Like, he should have been handled that. Like, that should have been over with, honestly. Um, and if he wasn't satisfied, uh, girl, I don't know. But he sure shouldn't have did what he did, honestly. <clears throat> That's crazy. Um... Okay. <laughs> Here's the truth. Listen to this, y'all. If you are between the ages of 35 and 55, it says do the following. Listen to this. Let me move her out the way, girl. I'm so full. If you're between the ages of 35 to 55, you should know the following. Number one. Take care of your health because it's a form of wealth. Number two, walk some paths alone because goals are personal. Number three, walk some paths alone because goals are personal. Who else feel that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know, maybe you shouldn't tell everybody what your goals are and what you want to do because you just never know it might be somebody out there that's trying to stop you from achieving that goal because they know what your goal is you know what i'm saying and that's probably why he said goals are personal because they literally are um so yeah i totally agree with that don't waste your energy on fear use it to believe learn and grow I've been told that too many times. Don't waste your energy on fear. Like me wasting my energy on being afraid to get on a plane or, you know, just do anything that I'm afraid of. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to work on that because um, I'm not there yet. Mm -mm. <laughs> not there yet. I'm still afraid of some things. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know how to not be afraid. You know what I'm saying? Like, does anybody have the answer for that? I don't know how not to be afraid of heights and getting on an airplane and, and you know, that type of stuff. Like, I don't know how not to be afraid. I, I don't know how 
you know what? No, let me. Number four, if you want to be happy, have zero expectations of others. Number five. Mm. If you want to be happy, have zero expectations of everybody. Hmm. Really? Would that really make you happy? If you have zero expectation, you don't expect, like, I guess you just don't expect anything. You don't expect people to be nice to you. You don't expect people to be your friend. You don't expect people to have your back. You don't expect people, like, and how can you, how can you even get there? Like, I think that's like a, a um, normal human emotion honestly is that an emotion expectation like you expecting that's not emotion you expecting uh you know people to do certain things like that is just a normal type of way to feel how do you not do that you know what i'm that's what he should have been telling us how not to expect things out of people like that's crazy that's all a part of life i feel like, what do y'all think? Like, that's a normal part of life. Do what makes you happy every day. Life. Ooh, do what makes you happy every day. Yeah, I can just, I can totally agree with that. Totally agree. Mm-hmm. Do what makes you happy every Bless day. Forever. Let me know in the comments, what makes you happy? Let me know, just period. What makes you happy? What is that thing that makes you happy? Um, I, for me, what makes me happy is, uh, honestly, is everybody getting along in my house. Everybody getting along. Um, and also uh, me having, like, quiet time. You know what I mean? That makes me so freaking happy. So happy. Number six, don't try to change anyone. Change how you deal with them. Oh, is that not a good one? Oh my God, don't try to change nobody. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that is so true. Because when you try to change somebody, like it's like you stressing yourself out trying to change somebody. Um, They have to want to change for themselves. They have to change themselves. Like you can't change anybody, not even your kids. You cannot change anybody. They have to want to do that. You know? Mm. That's another hard one. Number seven. Control your emotions and react less. <laughs> and how are you supposed to do that? Control your emotions. I've literally been working on that. Um, like when I feel like somebody is trying to bring something up out of me, uh, you know, I'll take my breath. Yes, yes, girl. I take my breath and I'll either just walk away, you know, and just ignore whatever is going on. I'll just walk away because I feel like that's like the best thing for me to do. Because if I stay there, I'm going to engage. Like I'm going to engage. I'm going to give you what you want. I might give you more than what you want. You know what I mean? So to keep that from happening... I'll, I'll stay silent. You might want to call it uh, ignoring the person or, or I'll just I'll walk away and act like the situation is not even there. Anyway, how do y'all handle it? Y'all let me know in the comments. Great. Free yourself from society's advice. Much of it may not be useful. Whoa. Free yourself from society's advice. Y'all know advice be coming from here, there, and every freaking where. How do you tune all that out? Like, how do you tune all that out? Um, you know, sometimes you have to listen to what other people have to say. Um, but I guess he's saying don't live your life, you know, I guess worrying about what somebody else's thoughts are about you or whatever. Um that's kind of hard for a person that is sensitive to do. It really is. If we're being real. Number nine. Your circle of friends should be tight, not loose. Number ten. Master self-discipline and consistency. Number eleven. The family you create is... Self-discipline and consistency. I think I have that. 
I think I have that one, y'all. More important than the family you come from. What do you say? Hold on. Not loose. Number 10, master self-discipline and consistency. Number 11, the family you create is more important than the family you come from. Boom. And last one, number 12, don't go broke trying to impress people. Mm. Oh, I already know that. If you're between the eight. I already know that. This is this is some really good stuff that he's saying, y'all. And he's like, the if you are between the ages of 35 and 55, uh, you should be doing the following. And I totally agree with everything. That's some really good advice. Um, let's see what else is going on, y'all. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my god okay y'all know shiny right the one that was um married to Shaq, right for all them years do y'all know that while they were um divorced Shaq was in uh, this is all alleged y'all um Shaq was allegedly paying her fifty thousand dollars a month in alimony not child support alimony y'all right and um, I guess their divorce paper said that, you know, if she gets remarried, okay, so she doesn't get that anymore. She doesn't get that uh, 50000 um a month, right? So, yes, y'all, somebody said, hmm, would you give a 50 k um monthly <laughs> alimony to marry a new partner? I would have to think about that partner real, real long and hard, like... Oh my God, I feel like we are probably gonna have to be together for a really long, I gotta make sure you are gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? That we are not gonna get no divorce because I'm cutting off all of this cash to marry you. You know, um, what, how y'all feel about that? <laughs> Would you like not get married in order to keep that money, keep getting that money every month, girl? I, uh, uh, I think that money would probably uh, keep me from getting married. I got to be honest. Like, for real. <clears throat> I think it would probably keep me from getting married. Like, 50K a month? And if that is that for a lifetime if you never get married? Because you can literally just have a relationship. You don't have to be married, you know. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't get married. <laughs> Because then I would have that 50K and then whatever else I'm doing, you know, my businesses. And you know, Shiny already make money besides the 50K. That's probably why she said forget it, you know, because she has, uh, what is it, um, basketball wives. That's making her millions of freaking dollars or have made her millions of dollars. And my, like whatever else that she's doing, who knows whatever else she's doing. But like she would have been able to have both those but it, you know what that's probably why she went ahead and got married because uh she already you know she didn't need his money probably she didn't need it but baby as long as i need it <clears throat> i wouldn't be getting married straight up mm -mm. no to the man but yeah i think that um shiny is much more happy than what she was before much more happy. Oh, y'all. Did I tell y'all about um, uh, Shiny? She had wrote a book, like a, um, you know, a book about her life, right? And in the book, she said that um, she doesn't, I think she said either she didn't love um, Shaq or she didn't think that she loved him. But I think she said she didn't love Shaq. She didn't love him. She wasn't in love with him. But, and then a lot of people started talking about her, talking about she was a gold digger and all of this stuff, right? <clears throat> and of course, we don't know that about her or whatever. Um, but this is what I was thinking. Maybe she didn't love him because he was constantly cheating on her. <laughs> okay? Like, <laughs> you can easily take away love with constantly cheating. And that's what he was doing. And he even said that he wasn't a good husband at all, he said. He even admitted to cheating and doing all these things on her. Now, I don't know if he had a baby on her. I don't I don't think so. I, I never heard that. Have y'all? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, um, but yeah, people was just getting all on Shane talking about how she was a, um, a gold digger. I just, I don't know. I don't think so. 
I never thought that Shawnee was a gold digger. The lady had how many kids with him? Or they had six all together? Girl, no. I'm pretty sure she loved the money, but I don't think she was a gold digger at all. She probably didn't love him because he didn't love her. Duh, you know? Uh, what else is, what is this? Oh, you got it. Oh, one more thing, y'all, before I read y'all comments. Girl. <laughs> so, it was this couple. I guess they were vlogging. No, dude had pulled out the camera because he couldn't believe that his wife was acting the way she was acting right now. I don't know if this is a skit or not, but his friends came over. And um, he wanted her to leave while his friends were there. And he was like, I, it's just out of respect or whatever. But let me let you hear what he's saying. Watch this. Listen, I think you need to go in another room. And I think you should just respect your man and just go in another room. Now, I don't know how you was raised. But... You want your friends to leave, then what? What does that have to do with what you got on? All you have to do is just go in another room. You... And just, okay, so he doesn't like what she has on. And all he honestly had to do was, like, pull her to the side and be like, um, while my friend's over here, can you take that bodysuit off? Because it was just a bodysuit. She, Mind you, she's in her own house. She's in her house. But he wants her to completely leave out of the living room. She, It looks like they're sitting at, like, a card table or something. Just chilling, right? Listen. It's me and my partner's chilling. Like, what is you talking about? You know, I'm already in here chilling. You're not going to get chilling with me. I can't do in my house. I'm not going in a room. If I don't want to go in the room. And you see I, how she act now. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? I don't think you're doing this. Because, I want, because I want to see if it's appropriate or not. I want to see if it's appropriate or not. You're in here chilling. Like, you're not going to get chilling with me. I'm not going to get chilling with you. And she calling me insecure, which means, yeah, which means she ain't got no respect for what I... Why? I mean, is he really insecure or he just wants you to respect his wishes? What do y'all think? Do y'all think that he's insecure or he just wants her to respect what he's saying? I think that's kind of unreasonable, honestly. For her to have to leave the living room just because his friends are there. Like, she has to leave her comfort. When, honestly, they could leave the house and go somewhere. You know? Because he has to understand. I feel like the husband needs to understand that his, or, I don't know if they girlfriend, I don't know if they husband and wife or what. But he has to understand that she lives there too. And she needs to be just as comfortable as him. You know, she don't want to go in the room, but then he shouldn't make her go into the room. Him and his friends should move. I feel. I don't know. What do y'all think? <laughs> it's crazy. You know, it's you. It's you and what you got on. Maybe your friends uncomfortable. Uh, man, He don't even pay no bills, y'all. Oh, he really couldn't have told me to go and do nothing. Girl, he shouldn't even have company if he don't pay no bills. Oh my god. His you friend left the table. All you have to do is go in the room. Look at what she got on, y'all. Turn around. Turn around. Let him see. And I honestly felt like that was so weak of him to pull out a camera and put her on the internet. It's crazy. And this is what she got on. It's it's like a whole full uh bodysuit. Why she can't wear a bodysuit in her own house? It's crazy. Even if his friends are there, why she can't wear a bodysuit? What is she supposed to wear? A muumu? Like, if that's what she's comfortable in, let her wear her freaking bodysuit. No. Let her see this. Oh, oh, yeah. Let me know it's fully clothed. And no. she is. It's fully clothed. It's not about being fully clothed. I'm not disrespecting you or your friend. They're not even looking at me. Why they go? Now, that's 
that's a conversation. Is it reasonable for your partner to ask you to leave the room when their friends are over? No. Or would you think it's disrespectful? Or as she put it, you're being insecure. Should a partner prioritize the comfort of their significant other? Or should they stand their ground and be like, I have every right to be in this room regardless of who you're around? If he says hmm. your attire isn't appropriate, then baby girl go change. It ain't got nothing to do with being insecure. Yeah, you know what? That's true. Like, she could, like... Instead of like feeding into it and saying I can wear whatever I want, just it, it probably wouldn't be a big deal just to go change, just to make your husband comfortable. But you stay in the living room, you know, you don't, you shouldn't have to go nowhere. So that's like a compromise. I'll go change, but I'm staying. Right, right. Anyway, he was doing way too much pulling out that camera, asking for everybody, all you know, asking for everybody's opinion I'm on that. So pissed off. Um. Oh, this is the last thing. Riri, y'all, she coming out with a hair care line, y'all. And ain't nobody here for it. Nobody. Everybody's like, we don't want, um, we didn't want one from Beyonce. And we surely don't want one from, um, from Rihanna. Because they said that they don't even know what her hair looks like. And I... <laughs> Riri be having some bomb wigs, honey, and some bomb like little shortcuts and stuff like that. But I don't even, I don't think I know what her hair looks like. But does it matter? Because they were saying the same thing about Beyonce. Y'all remember that? But when I heard about her having a, a hairline, coming out with a hairline, I was just, I, it was just odd to me, honestly. I, I don't think that she needs to do that. And I don't think that people come to Rihanna for, for, hair you know unless it's a wig they were like i would have respected it more if she would have came out with a wig line or something you know i don't know i thought that would have probably would have been better you know because i don't think that people are going to get this this hair care honestly i just i don't think that they're gonna buy it because i i i never think about hair care when i'm thinking about rihanna ever like ever, I literally think about makeup when I think about Rihanna. Not even all the other stuff she has, like Savage X, Fenty, and what else she got, y'all? I don't know. She has all kinds of branches of um, Fenty. But yeah, will y'all be buying um, Rihanna's new hair care line? I'm not. I will tell you right now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even interested. I really am not. Like, how many freaking shampoos and conditioners, you know, can you freaking try? You know? Just, mm-mm. This question is... Um, oh, no. Anyway, so let me get to these comments. Hopefully, y'all were able to even comment, y'all. I did put out the video really early today. So, okay, okay. I put it out early. All right. Okay, Jazzy underscore 9761 says, Feelings for an ex are feelings to the fact that someone he knew is dying. Like, I don't think people seeing the bigger picture. The lady is literally going to be dead. Saying his goodbyes and moving on hurts who? It might hurt his wife. It's already hurting her for them to even talking about it. And for him to say, that was my first love. That already hurt her. You know? So, mm-mm. I don't know. This that's a good take though. Really good take. Um Joanna Aguilar 4961 says, Do you own a waterproof phone pouch? So when y'all go uh get wet on vacation, your phone wouldn't be wet. I don't trust those pouches because <laughs> been there, done that. Okay. I do not trust 
those pouches. And um, yeah, I saw people with them around their um, necks and stuff. And some somebody had went under with it. And they were like, these aren't um, waterproof. Uh, the water got all in the freaking pouch. So yeah, I don't trust those pouches. Mm -mm. Deborah Cooper, 4184. And no, I don't have one. Actually, I do have one, a really, really old one from um, that cruise that we went on. Yeah, I still have it too. Yep, I still have it. Um, Deborah Coop Cooper, 4184, says that concert is going to be lit. Ain't it, girl? Oh my God. So whoever is going, golly. Please let me know how it was. Tinkerbell underscore 8156 says, I feel as though it's childish. There's a difference in loving someone and being in love with them. Who knows how things ended uh, between them? And maybe this man just wants to make it right before she departs this world. Mm, didn't think about that either. She's on her deathbed for Christ's sake. Like what's, what's the worst that can happen? He's going to pay his respect in a hospital, not a hotel, okay? <laughs> this really sent me. I'm sorry. Have some compassion. Remember, this could very well be you one day. All of us deserve some grace. True that. True that. I like your, your take on that. I like your take on that. Um, I was just going by, you know, honestly... The wife, she just didn't like it. Like, and what is he supposed to do? Go anyway and, you know, disappoint his wife and have problems in his marriage? You know, which one would you do? Honestly, like, what would you do? Um, Patricia Greer 282 says, hey, Yummy. Hey, sis. Love both of the white outfits. Thank you, girl. Uh, the burgers look delicious. All or none, go to the hospital or... The grandparents should take the baby. Um, I'm eating homemade taco salad. I was in the Marines for 20 years and loved it. Really? Oh my gosh. That's a long time. And are you um, retired and all of that right now and living good and all that good stuff? Let me know. Um, Deborah Cooper 4184 says, hey, yummy burgers look delicious. Thank you, sis. Um, Poetic Beauty 8259 says, you deserve it, yummy. <laughs> Love me hair. <laughs> blessings on blessings to you. Many, many more endorsements to come your way. Thank you, sis. I pray, I pray. Um, con congrats to Maya. Let her find her way and she'll be fine. Proud of her for looking, um, for looking to her, I'm sorry, for looking to her future now. Thank you, girl. Yeah, I'm proud of her too. It's just, y'all know, it's hard when, you, when your child is going to leave, you know, and you're not going to be able to get to him. And then, y'all, I am not even going to be able to go to her, uh, like, uh, after boot camp, like her graduation. I'm not even going to be able to go. How freaking heartbreaking, you know? I'm not even going to be able to go. But it's all good. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Um, Florida 01 girl says the wife is selfish and low key jealous. She might be. She might be. <laughs> she might be. Um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says I'm eating raspberries. Yummy. Do you know that every time I get raspberries from the store, they're never good. They never taste like raspberries, in my opinion. Like, never. Have y'all ever gotten any good raspberries from the store? Let me know in the comments, center because every single time I've gotten raspberries, they're never sweet, ever. So, um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, man, they look so good. You look beautiful as always. Thank you, sis. Y'all, that lettuce wrap burger was so good freaking good like ah, uh, that's why i ate the whole entire thing it was too good e troy 2045 says i'm with you all or none can pay respects to a dying ex uh lady croft says hey yummy hey girl the burgers look so good thank you girl um, e troy also says it's absolutely because of caitlin's skin color that uh, she's getting all the publicity. It's really sad. And I think it is too. Like, can you imagine how those other women feel? Like, can you imagine? And honestly, 
Um, I heard somebody else say on a video today that um, Caitlyn should stand up and say something about, and you know what? Maybe the reason why she hasn't been saying anything, maybe she hasn't been paying attention to, you know, what everybody been saying. I don't know. I feel like it's hard to do that because I see Angel Reese on the internet all the time. And I know she know what, what people be saying. So, I don't know. Remember in the last video, I was like, I feel like Caitlyn should stand up and say something. You know, let people know that she's not for all this racist stuff that's going on and to please stop it. I feel like if she did that, instead of just being silent, um, maybe things will get better. I don't know. It, it might, it may not, but I feel like she should, she should say something. She really should. Um, the coach, somebody should say something. Um, but just leaving it unsaid and just letting all of this be and just watching your fans like go crazy and be uh, racist. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm, yeah. And I thought I was the only one saying that she should probably say something. Somebody else said it too. So, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. E Troy 2045 says, Hi, Yummy. Hey, girl. I'm back from vacation. You look beautiful and the birds look delicious. Girl, did y'all have fun? Oh, my goodness. I know you did. I know you did. Mila Leggett 9890 says, Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you too. Uh, Riri Love 62 says, Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment or suggestion down below. Yummy Bites would love to hear what you got to say. Thanks and have a mother flipping blessed day. Thank you, sis. Um, Moria. Moria Hardy 3764 says a lot of people like maturity and that's why a lot of people are saying oh no he's wrong first of all that's his child's mother right and second of all everybody has a past regardless if we love it or not everybody has loved somebody um, else unless you married your high school sweetheart She's sick. Um, what are they about to do? Absolutely nothing. But should he take a risk on his own marriage to go and do that? Because she said that if he went, she was going to have a problem with it. And they were going to have problems. So would you go and do that? Risking having problems in your marriage? You know what I mean? Um... Tawana Jackson 2814 says, Megan can wrap her ass off, okay? Like she can, period. And I don't understand if people, you know, people saying that she can't. Like, come on. It's undeniable. I love me some Megan. Now, who can't rap is Ice Spice. Girl! <laughs> you said, <laughs> I never enjoyed her. Her shows nothing. And I told y'all that. I literally told y'all that. It's like, uh, where did they get her from? Like, when did she start rapping? When? Did she just start and it just popped off? Like, where did she come from, y'all? Because, honestly, she just popped up on the scene. Did she come from social media? Like, what happened? If anybody knows. Because, yeah. I'm like, what is going on? Every time I see her... um perform like it's just like it's a no for me that's my opinion um she said i can't stand that girl for the life of me <laughs> girl i understand where you coming from queen b jones 8404 says yummy we was called fish when i was in ninth grade that's right the lady's husband who wanted to pay his last respects he was dead wrong to say his first love that's what bothered me when he said that. Like, he could have kept that out. He really could have just kept that out. He should have took that to the grave. Boom! Okay? Like, but I feel that there is nothing wrong with saying goodbye with his children. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. And he could have just brought his wife with him to the hospital. Period. If she was feeling a kind of some kind of way, you know? Um, say bye with his children. Um, their um, mother 
he is being there for his kids, but everyone is different. True. And I, I, I felt like, um, yes, he should go up there, you know, with his baby, but bring his wife too, you know, so she can feel respected and all of that. Not just leaving like some people were saying and say, forget your wife and just leave. No, you, that's not how you handle things. Uh, Tabby Baby RXAFZ says, yum. Yes, girl, was so yum. Uh, Lily Porter 7100 I totally agree, yummy. If that's his child, um, ex mothers, then yes, we are, uh, we are all, uh, we all can go, um, see her together. Uh, cause it's definitely some feelings, yes, involved. Uh, cause ain't no way he would go by himself. No, no, no. Especially when he is married to his wife. Um, cause I definitely agree with his wife. It's called respect, period. He definitely got some feelings for his ex. He better, uh, pray in silence and talk to his ex. <laughs> Girl... Yeah, you know, that's the mother of his children. He wanted to take his baby. So I feel like he should have just took the baby and took the wife. And just, like, I'm pretty sure it would have been fine. Um, Marie Benjamin 8712 says, Hey, yummy. Hey, sis, you're on point with everything that you are giving questions and answering to. I would go with my husband. Call it what you want. Everybody, everyone's opinion is different, though. That's true. So true. Um, LaShawn 1901 says, yummy vibes. Hey, girl. Uh, Jazzy underscore 976. No, no. I'm sorry. I already read that one. Um, the People's Channel 5 says, yummy. Hey, girl. Food looks good. Hey, I stayed for eight minutes and <laughs> four seconds. I couldn't stay for 59 minutes. I had to cater to the hubby and kids. You look beautiful and keep up the great work, yummy. Thank you, sis. And thank you for coming. I don't think I've ever uh, seen you comment. I appreciate however long y'all watch. I appreciate it, okay? Uh, Lily Porter 7100 says, it's all good, sis. We understand about the green screen. Do what you got to do, sis. Thank you, girl. That's what I be wanting to hear. Like, I do I do those lettuce burgers, like, every blue moon. You know what I'm saying? It's like I, like I do them all the time. So I think I can handle it, you know, every blue moon. Because um, I just love it so much. Uh, Lily Porter 7100 says, I'm eating some Wingstop lemon pepper chicken all flats with fries. On uh, their corn uh, with ranch and blue cheese. Mm. Mm, excuse me. Sounds delicious to me, girl. Lily Portis uh, 7100 says, shiny, 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 shiny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that freaking song. Peggy Benson 6349 says, I wish you could be my coach and show me how to eat all my keto uh, food and tell me all the things I need to buy. I can get you $30 a month for a menu. What? Girl. All you have to do is watch my videos and just watch what I eat. And what you need to do is, this is all you need to do, is um, don't go over 30 grams. Or no, is it 20 grams? Don't go over 20 grams of sugar a day. And don't go over... 30 grams of carbs a day and you'll be fine you will be fine but start off with a fast start off with um a water fast i feel like you should start off with a seven day water fast and if you can't do seven days do three whole days of a water fast so you can um get into ketosis and that's going to jump start your weight loss and after you are into after you do your water fast well then you start doing exactly what i just said you start um only uh consuming 20 grams of um sugar a day and 30 grams of carbs a day that's all you get that's it you have to be very disciplined and strict with yourself because it's not that easy to do in the beginning it's not but you're gonna get used to it you're gonna definitely get used to it um but um yeah just follow those rules and you will be fine trust and believe and then do something physical every day walk every day for 30 minutes 
walk every day for 30 minutes, okay? Y'all don't see me doing that right now, but I've, I've been there and done that already. Been there, done that. Y'all y'all know I used to be outside at 1130 at night walking. I was very much determined. Um, but yeah, um, girl, I would not take no $30 from you, girl. <laughs> No, I, I will tell you, I will tell you what to do. I'm not a gatekeeper, um, but yeah, uh, it, it's just easy. Like eat meat and vegetables. You can have cheese or just don't eat as much as me, okay? Um, they, just, they have keto everything. If you want a snack, they got a snack. They got keto snacks and you know, I can tell you the good ones to eat. Follow my blog channel. I, you know, I've told y'all plenty over there, plenty and over here. Um, but yeah, thank you, girl, for even asking. Um, Lily Porter 7100 says, the background looking beautiful, sis. It's another beautiful day outside in the park, baby. I know that's right, girl. That's how I was feeling. That's exactly how I was feeling. Um, let's see. Lily Portis also says, yes, that's, that's lettuce uh, wrap burger looking so delicious. I definitely love a good homemade burger myself. And sis... You looking beautiful as always. Thank you, girl. Uh, Lily also says, hey, yummy, we ready for this mother flipping mukbang. Let's go. <laughs> I know that's right. I love that. Um, Michael Stewart, 198, says the food looks amazing. Love your hair, yummy. Thank you, Michael. Um, Shannon Joseph says, hey, sis, it looks delicious, yummy. Thank you, sis. And I want to thank everybody who is supporting me on Instagram. I appreciate every single last one of y'all. Um, y'all be loud in the multiple the comments. I just love y'all so much. I always see, uh, Shannon, always. Um, Lily Portis, uh, 7100, um, Sends clapping emojis with some red hearts. Thank you, sis. Tawana Jackson 2814 says, Hey, yummy. Hey, girl. <laughs> Delicious dinners 5713 says, Here. I know that's right, sis. Let us know. Girly girl, one not. No, girly girl 95 says, Early. Hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Thank y'all so much for showing up early. I really appreciate that. Y'all be having them notifications on. Make sure everybody turn on their notifications. If you don't know what notifications are, it's that like little bell. You just press that. And whenever my videos um, come out every day, they'll give you a notification so you can go watch it. Okay. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay. Follow me on the family vlog channel. Um... And yeah, uh, me, me making this um, this dish, which y'all are going to want to try because it's delicious. And you can make it with any sausage that you want. You don't have to have that particular sausage. Just use a sausage that you like. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 hey, 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 uh, uh, and I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.